Hi, and welcome back to the ABG Academy. I'm Michael. I want to talk to you now about two-factor authentication. You might have heard this term two-factor authentication mentioned before, and I'm here to explain to you everything there is to know about it, and hopefully so that you understand why it's a really important security measure that you should be enabling on all of your accounts where possible. Let's look at the history of access control just briefly and understand where two-factor authentication actually came from. So in the security industry, we talk about access control. We talk about the ability to access an online service, for example. And this is typically done using three techniques or three criteria for the access. The first criteria is something you know, and you would know this by your password that you generally have to remember. It's something you have to know, it's something you have to remember. That's one of the criteria that can be used. The next criteria is the something you have. This is something that is unique and something that's in your personal position, like your ATM card, for example, that you would use to withdraw money from your accounts at an ATM. That's a form of something that you have in your possession. And there's a third criteria, which is something you are, which sounds quite extraordinary. And it refers actually to biometric security, where you might press your eye up against a reader or use a fingerprint reader. And a lot of um, smartphones are now coming out with fingerprint readers that can do that. And that is just a third type of criteria or third factor, if you like. In fact, those three things I've just explained are all called factors. And we talk about any two of those being two factors of authentication. And that's where the term two-factor authentication actually comes from. Now, let's take a step forward and have a look at some of the practical solutions that are currently available. And I hope you'll understand where we're heading to from here. What I'm going to look at now is uh, a thing on that you can get on your mobile device called Google Authenticator. And this is an example of Google Authenticator here. It's just one of the many different types of technological solutions that are appearing that allow consumers like you and I to actually have two-factor authentication to secure all of our online accounts that are offering this type of service. And you can see here on this particular mobile app that the, there are some six digit numbers here and each of these six digit numbers are configured for separate accounts that I'm accessing on a regular basis. And these numbers are changing every 20 or 30 seconds or so and the app is designed to do this in a very secure way so that this six digit number is only known to me because I'm the owner of this device and it's been uh, set up correctly for the service that I want to access and also the provider of the service. So that when I try to log into my Evernote account or my Dropbox account, for example, this six digit number is required along with my password that I know. And the only way I could have come up with this number and have it be correct is because it's the something I have, which in this case is my mobile or smartphone with the app installed that's already been configured. Now Google call their two-factor service two-step verification. And, and there are a number of providers that are calling it by different names. Two-factor authentication or two-step verification, whatever it's called, what I want you to do is have a look at all of your online accounts and have a look specifically at the security settings. Go through with a fine tooth comb and hunt out those two-factor authentication or two-step verification features and where you can, turn them on. Another useful thing can also just be login notification, something that's gonna make you aware if someone has logged into your account. So hopefully now you've got a better idea of what two-factor authentication is. Congratulations and thanks for joining us once again at the AVG Academy and we look forward to seeing you next time.